Welcome back to another video game rant. So, if you know the Mega Man franchise, good on you. If you don't, it's about a blue robot named Mega Man who fights other robots, steals their powers, and has to take down a villain named Dr. Wily. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's It was from the NES era and the SNES, but yeah. Anyway, uh, in the fourth game of the franchise, Mega Man 4, I know, super original, but let's get back on topic. There is a robot master called Dustman. In his level, it is a junkyard. Now, let me just take. No, let me just give you a kind of an idea of how this works. So, let's say you're just like a human walking through a junkyard. You know, r like robot, robot pieces, tin cans, ro robot parts, all that. Yada yada yada. Now, turn all the robot parts into human parts. That is what it is to Mega Man. It is walking through a graveyard. It, think about that. This is a sentient robot. Yes, these are all sent. All the robots in the game franchise are saint, sentient. Sentient robot walking through a field of rusted, destroyed robotic parts. Think of how horrifying that is. That is, like, if that was in, it's like horror movie stuff, it was human. It's just like piles upon piles. And the robot master who uses a vacuum, so he's sucking up dead robot parts and firing them at you. I have one of two ideas on how uh, Dustman thinks of this. He's either the most, he's either the most like, v like villainous, cold-hearted creations to be, or he is mortified. Think about it for like, just think about it, huh? You thought about it? Good. Anyway, next portion. There's a later on in the next in the next uh game, sorry. Uh there's a character called Napalm Man. Let me say that again. Napalm Man. You know, Napalm. That the explosive stuff no that was incredibly dangerous. Like it still is too. I'm not sure if we still use it, but still yeah, napalm. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Anyway, anyway, can you guess what his level is? No, it's Vietnam. Vietnam and napalm, man. If you don't get this, Google it. It is scary to think. They had to think about this. This wasn't something by accident. They had to think about this, and it is totally Vietnam, because it's tigers, and then later on in the level, it just becomes a war zone. They knew what they were doing, and they did it. I will give them a pass on this slightly, because they are a Japan company, and the company who makes these games are Capcom. You know, all that later on. All that stuff, like uh, Street Fighter, blah, 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 I can't think of uh, Castlevania, all those things. If you know them, then yeah. But... The only thing that I can think of that's good about Napalm Man is his th is his level theme. It is super good for no reason. Like what the heck? If you need uh, anyway, to some wait. Uh, if you want to get some good retro video game music, look up look up uh Napalm Man's theme, Spark Mandrill's theme. It's another Mega Man thing, but from Mega Man X. I haven't played those, so I don't know much about them. It's a whole nother series, I'll have to go into explanation on that when I get to them. Anyway, Spark Mandrill's theme, one of the best themes in this franchise, I, in my opinion. And, uh... Shoot, Snake Man. Yeah. It, this is a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I think three... I think three and four in the Mega Man franchise has the best music out of all of them. Don't know why, just like all of them are bangers. Maybe five too. Those are pretty good too. It's like they're all super good. Like two is good, but three, four, and five, in my opinion, are super good. Anyway, that's all. Have a good day. Bye. Sorry if I just like, made you have an existential crisis about robots and the mortality of graveyard, of junkyards. Like seriously. Those are basically robot graveyards, but they're not buried. They're just kind of left in a rot. An incineration plant It's literally just robot hell. Not even kidding. Think about that.
just think about it. These are so good though.